Do you have difficulty with math? Worry no more because I have a solution for you. Let's have math classes with Mamshi. See you in class. We are now on General Mathematics Week 4C. And our topic is representation of inverse functions through table of values and graph. So the objective of our discussion is at the end of this discussion, the students will be able to represent inverse functions through a table of values and also graphs. So we have here representing the inverse of a function through a table of values. Note that the domain becomes the range and the range becomes the domain in the inverse of the function. So automatically, as what I have said last time in our past discussion, this will automatically have an inverse of x inverse f inverse of x equals x minus 5. So that is the inverse. And so we can also make our table of values. Let's have our x and y here. Okay, I'm sorry with my table because my lines are not that good. Okay, the important thing here is to have a correct answer. So we can write a table of values. You can choose values like negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So that it will be easier for us to find the graph later on. So we have here, if we have negative 2, so f inverse of negative 2, we have negative 2 minus 5. And the answer is negative 7. So we have here negative 7. Next, f inverse of negative 1 equals negative 1 minus 5. And the answer is negative 6. Next, f inverse of 0 equals 0 minus 5, and the answer is negative 5. Let's have f inverse of 1 equals 1 minus 5, and the answer is negative 4. And lastly, we have f of negative f of 2. So that is 2 minus 5, and the answer is negative 3. Okay, so this will be the domain and the range or the table of values if we have this function and we have this inverse. Okay, so that's it. Take note, let's try to identify if, if we have x as negative 7. Okay, let's try to check. I just want you to see that if your domain becomes negative 7, do you think the range will be negative 2 for this function? So we have f of x, f of negative 7 is equal to negative 7 plus 5. And that is really negative 2. Take note that negative 7 and negative 2 interchanged each other when they are written as the inverse of this given function. So if you will try to solve for f of negative 6, same thing will happen. Negative 6 plus 5 and the answer is negative 1. Take note that the range of this function x plus 5 is negative 1 but then it becomes the domain of the inverse of our function. So they are just interchanging each other. And if you are going to check the graph of it, so we have here this is your x plus 5. Yes, this is your x plus 5. When x equals negative 5, your y is 0. And when x is 0, your y is equal to positive 5. This is your f of x. And this one if your is your f inverse of x. This green line. This one is x minus 5. And... How, why did I write a pink line here? 
this pink line represents the axis of symmetry. It means that when you fold this graph into two or when you split this graph into two along the line of symmetry, you will have the identical parts when you overlap them or when you fold them together. So this one will be partnered to this point and this point will be partnered to this point. So that's how we graph it. And also, let's have this one. Let's find first its inverse. We have y equals 2x minus 1. And so, x equals 2y minus 1. So, we have x plus 1 equals 2y. And so, our y is equal to x plus 1 over 2. So, the f inverse of x is equal to x plus 1 all over 2. Okay, so let's try to check if our answer is really correct. So we have x minus 1 equals 2y. Divide both sides by 2. So we get x plus 1 over 2. And now let's make our table of values. Actually, you can choose any other number. But then I choose, I'd rather choose values from negative 2 negative 1 because this is the easiest one for me okay so you can choose your numbers if what do you think will be easy for you okay so let's have substitute let's have substitution to this one f inverse of negative 2 is equal to negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 over 2 that's negative 1 half Let's continue. F inverse of negative 1. So that's negative 1 plus 1. That is 0 over 2 or that is equal to 0. So F inverse of 0 equals 0 plus 1 all over 2. That is equal to 1 half. And F of negative 1, uh, F of positive 1, F inverse of positive 1, we get 1 plus 1 over 2. Or that's equal to 2 over 2 or 1. And lastly, we have f inverse of 2 equals 2 plus 1 over 2. Or that's equal to 3 halves. So this will be, sorry, it's not 3 fourths but 3 halves. Okay, so this will be the values that we are going to use in making our graph. And so this will be the graph. Okay. So when x is 0, sorry, when x is 0, we have your 1 half. Let's go back there. So when x is 0, we have 1 half. When y is 0, our x is negative 1. Okay, when y is 0, our x is negative 1. Okay, so this one is the inverse. This one is the original function. And this line is the axis of symmetry between the function and its inverse. Let's continue. Okay, so automatically, this one will have an inverse of x minus 3. And so I think it will be easy for you to write your table of values. Okay, we have x, y, and negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So substitute negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And 2 minus 3 is negative one those are the values that we can plot in our graph and so we have here this value okay x plus three this is the function f of x and this violet one is the graph of our inverse function so 
this one is the axis of symmetry actually actually class when i try to pass your answers to me all you have to do is to check whether the lines are having or the points are having a uh, mirror like or reflection along the x equals y line so that's it so if you can try to fold your paper and see that the two lines will fit to each other therefore your graphing is correct okay let's continue with number four so f of x equals 4x so we have y equals 4x and so x equals 4y so divide both sides by 4 so y equals x over 4 and so on this case i think our table of values will be different for me to have an easier solving so i can use negative 8 negative 4 0 4 in 8 because we have to divide 4 and all the x's later on so it will be easier for us to solve if we have used the multiples of 8 so Negative 8 divided 4 is negative 2. Negative 4 divided 4 is negative 1. 0 divided by 4 is 0. 4 divided by 4 is 1. And 8 divided by 4 is 2. These are the values that we are going to write when we put the graph. Put, put it on the graph. And so we have here this graph. Take note that it's 0, 0 also in our graph here and this one is for the function x over 4 and this one take note take again again this one is for the original function and this one is for the inverse of the function okay this violet one let's continue for number five note that the domain becomes a range and the range becomes a domain so we have y equals x minus 1 all over 2x. And so we have to multiply both sides by 2x in order to, el to eliminate the denominator. So we have 2xy equals x minus 1. Then we have to transfer to divide both sides by 2x. Sorry. Divide both sides by 2x so we only have y on the left. So our y is equal to, cancel this one, x minus 1 all over 2x. That will be the inverse of our function. So f inverse of x is equal to x minus 1 over 2x. So let's have our table of values here. So we have x, y, negative 2 negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay, if we have negative 2, so we'll have negative 2 minus 1 all over negative 2 times, ne sorry, positive 2 times positive 2 times negative 2. Okay, so that's negative 3 over negative 4, or that is understood as 3 fourths. Okay, that is for negative 2. Let's try to solve for negative 1. So we have negative 1 minus 1 over 2 times negative 1. So we have negative 2 over negative 2, or that's equal to positive 1. Next, let's try to solve for a 0. 0 minus 1 over 2 times 0 is 0. So the answer is 0. Let's try to solve for 1. So we have 1 minus 1 all over 2 times 1. So that is 0 all over 2. So the answer is still 0. I think that's 0. Take note that for our 0, x equals 0 here, 
sorry, for x equal 0, we have negative 1 over 0. And that is undefined. Sorry for the last answer. So that is undefined here. Okay, if x is equal to 0, that will become undefined. And lastly, if we change that to, what's this? If we change that to 2, let's try to check if what is our answer. 2 minus 1 over 2 times 2, that is 1 over 4. So we'll have 1 fourth. Okay, so that will be our table of values for the inverse of the function x minus 1 all over 2x. Later on, let's try to check if this one is really undefined at 0 or if it doesn't meet at x equals 0. So let's check the graph here. Okay, so this green one is our function. This violet one is our another function. So if you can see, it doesn't cross y at 0. Okay, so it doesn't cross y at 0. No, no, no. Let's check first again. It doesn't cross at x equals 0. Okay, so let's go back here. It doesn't cross our green one. It doesn't cross our x equals 0. Okay, let's have... Oh, we are done with quarter one, week 4C. Okay, so we only have one class to discuss i hope that you will bear with me for those who are new to my channel just subscribe to my channel click subscribe and hit the notification bell to be updated of my latest videos thank you for watching and i hope you learned a lot from me